Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, we're here with Captain Ellie, and we've just finished uh, looting around an arcade. And uh, we're, we're, we're driving our boat around, just, you know, okay. trying to get to the Ferris wheel. Uh, we just discovered what is probably the last of the Jules letters uh, and pieced together that whole story. And, uh, and now we continue on. This is quite the storm blowing in. This is, uh, maybe we ought to just call it a night, Ellie. Go back, hang out at the theater for a while. Get some warmth. Almost there. Get some cuddles from Dina. Make sure she feels all right. Holy shit. We are, we are almost there, but we are also almost drowned. Holy God. Look at these waves. go this way or we can go this way okay we'll go into this building music starting up oh man I'm getting nervous this feels like a climax I love that you can dip in and out of these buildings oh buddy I'm getting seasick and I'm not even on a boat. Is this the fucking ocean? Holy shit. That's a cool moment. Oh, the big sea swells. Wow. This is wild. We're getting fucking tossed around. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Oh, I fucked it. I got too excited. I got too excited. Whoa! Oh, fuck! Oh, no. Ellie, what a dumb fucking way to die. Oh, my God. Go back to Gina. I can make it. Oh, buddy. This is no joke. This is crazy. You're going to make it here, but without a way to get out. <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh God. Oh God. There's no shot any of your, any of your guns work now. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> Immediately. Let's do this. Ellie, you need therapy. You need... Uh, a long talking to from a parental figure. You need help. Oh, Ellie. All right. Bunch of boats here. Rotted fucking boats. Can I check them out? I mean, you know I gotta try, right? Okay, no, I just give me back on land. Nope, never mind. I wanna get on land. I don't wanna go in the water again. Oh, this music is freaking me out. I'm tense! My shoulders are at my ears. Alright, deep breaths, Ryan. Deep breaths. I'm scared. I'm scared of finding Ellie. I'm also scared for Ellie to find Abby. Sorry, finding Abby for Ellie to find Abby. You know? Gonna make some more Molotovs after that last one. We also have something we could do here. Crafting speed. 50% range. We definitely want that one. Hold breath. L3 to steady it. Sure. Okay. So I don't know exactly where we are, but it feels a little bit like a uh, Navy Pier kind of situation, you know? Like a, the Midwestern in, Midwesterner in me is like waterside. Okay. Abby, where are you? A lot of different things we can do here. Waterfront. Uh,
attractions like stuff for the whole family. Okay, that's locked. Damn it. And that's how, and that's the story of how Ellie died of exposure to the elements on a shitty waterfront playground. Area under video surveillance. Is Abby gonna know that I'm coming? It's almost like they tell you right from the start. Video surveillance. Yeah, we gotta go up here. Here we go. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, buddy. Right into the danger we go. I'm scared. At the aquarium. All right. Hard and arm mess. Sturgeon. Parrot fish. Updating this exhibition for your future enjoyment. This is creepy. Okay. Hours of operation, nothing there. More lighting over here. This is where we tried to get in, I think. Now we made it in, so what do we do from here? Oh, it's in construction, so we can go through. Interesting. Ah, I'm so nervous. Uh, okay, what's the story of this place? Cleaning schedule. Shrimp, herring, clams, plankton, Cap something, capitan? I don't know what that said. It looks like it really hasn't been clean in a while. Hmm. All right. Um. Got a hole over here. We probably need to pull. Pull something and get up. No, we just need to go through here. Okay. I'm I'm very curious to see how they handle animals kept in the in the aquarium will there be any sign of dead animals will there be any animals that actually bred and survived i don't know why i'm so curious about it but i am we're inside of the exhibit again yep Hoses and such. Life preserver. We need to jump over the edge here. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so creepy. Safety is our number one priority. Remember that the pre-show checklist must be done 30 minutes before showtime. Okay. Some diving gear. If there's anything I can make now. More explodey arrows? Sure, let's do that. Seems like a good time. Am I just crafting to avoid confronting whatever it is that's happening here in a second? Yes, of course I am. I'm scared. Have I mentioned that yet? I also just keep thinking Abby might be around some corner. Where the fuck are and you? Am I actually all that scared of Abby? I don't know, because the shitty thing is that I don't know that Abby's scary. It's just that Abby 
got the unfortunate sort of manipulative jump on Tommy and Joel. If anyone's scary here, it's fucking Ellie. Not that Abby isn't also scary with the depth of the emotion that she showed and the vengeance that she was going for, but... Here, that's locked. I think I could probably get through a vent, though, if I had to guess. A. Hey. Am I going to hear anything up here to the left? Nope. Ah, I don't like that. It's scary. Jesus. <laughs> Made a bunch of noise. Oh, oh. A dog? Oh. Uh. Oh. oh. Alright. Stupid dog. Okay. Nothing happened yet. We're okay. I'm so sorry, dog. So sorry. Sorry. Still locked from this way? Damn, that means I can't go back the other direction and just leave. God, I hate it when we get to like clinical medical type of, of places. Operating God. trables and such, you know? What is this? What happened here? It's, it's just like, is Abby wounded and, and uh, stitching herself up? I don't know what the fuck those are. They look kind of like teeth or something. I mean, I believe the story at this point, I should just walk us through it so that it's fresh on my mind before we get there, is that Abby sort of like was kept prisoner by the WLF and broke out. Um, although, wait, shit, was that the WLF or was that the Seraphites? I'm getting them confused now. I mean, we know that it would be the WLF, right? But was she kept, she was a WLF, but was she kept prisoner by the Seraphites? I don't know, but that's a lantern. We're going to come back for that. I just know that she was, she, she like, Broke out and oh shit, this is where we came from. I'm dumb. She broke out in some way. Okay. Some stuff here. I heard something. Oh, was this Abby's dog? No, there's two oh, beds here. There's a bunch of you. Yeah, there's a bunch. It's gonna be Owen too. Okay. At least it's not just us v Abby. That's probably a good thing. Maybe. Shit. Broke that glass just for no reason. Nice. Owen. Firefly. Owen. Really? It's cool to see those now, knowing that the WLF was. A uh, radicalized. Sorry, that the. Yeah, WLF was a radicalized firefly. Oh, and more. After the conversation with Nora. All right, here we go. Okay, locked. Can't go that way. I thought I was hearing voices. He doesn't know what she wants. You don't get to decide that. He doesn't want you there. Okay, here we go. People don't come back on that island. 
times has Abby risked her life for you? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't. These are them, right? Go the back. Owen and uh, pregnant, uh, his pregnant girlfriend. Fuck you, Owen. Yeah. Oh, Hands hello. Up. So Owen's saying Where's go back. Abby? She says, fuck you. You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? You give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. Come here. Fucking get over here! Point to where she is on this map. And then you... It better fucking match up. Okay. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth Stop. it. Stop! We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! All right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, buddy. Ooh. Uh. They're dead, Ellie. At least she is. Is. Oh man, they're very dead. Was it an interesting scene? I was not who we expected to see here. Yeah. Aw. Aw. Especially after Dina. This is a mirror. The, the touching her chest is a direct mirror to the scene where she found out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Hey. Direct mirror to the scene where she found out that Joel had lied to her. That was that's the one other time that we've seen that, as far as I know. It's all right. Come on, Jesse, fine, Tommy. Let's go. Aww. It's all right. He keeps looking back. Map is left there. Blood spreads on the floor. It's an interesting scene. That's not who we're looking for when we get there. We don't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to know what else to say about that. It's an interesting scene. I just feel for Ellie. She's just put herself in such a bad situation. She's on this road that I don't know how you get from here to happiness, you know? It's like a... It's just a self-destructive... Dina puts her hand there and seems to like pat there, being like, stay. I don't know, that, I think Dina's sick potentially. And I don't know, we just wake up here. I f it feels like Dina was patting there being like, stay, or like, where is she? And Ellie gets up instead because she has fucking work to do. She has business to take care of. Oh man. We're in such a sad spot with Ellie right now. In such a sad spot. But Tommy's alive. I think Jesse probably found him based on what I'm seeing there. Once again, we walk out from backstage. They 
They've made us do this twice. There's the safe haven back there with Dina, with the person we care about. Be safe. We are safe. And Ellie keeps venturing out from that safe spot straight into danger. Time we get there, this whole area. The way back. Now's the moment. Where are you going? Needed some air. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. If we're in Falls City by tomorrow, we're doing good. Hey. They got what they deserved. But she gets to live. Yeah. Is that okay? It has to be. I was getting ready to say, I think there's two ways that this goes. Ellie doubles down and goes after her. Or... What I think is more interesting and more believable is Ellie gets 95% of the way there and decides it's enough. But then the problem comes to her or her hand get for gets forced or they, they bump into her anyways. Or... Mm. The thing that worries me really is that they'll take someone else. Again. Dina dies or... And what you should be worried about is what Maria's going to do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. <laughs> Jesse's, Jesse's face, did you see that? We've been through worse. Jesse, what the fuck? As I was passing through some ritzy section of town, I come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. <laughs> Let's see it. I know what gold looks like. <laughs> If it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? <laughs> oh, he's hurt. You find your own damn bribes. How you doing? Fine. Ellie? Fine. Thanks for coming back for me. My friend's problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. All right, how about, uh... My friends can't get out of their own damn way. It's better. Oh, shit! The problem comes to this. No. Hands in the air, I shoot this one no. too. No. Get out of here. Stand up now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Fuck. All right. Stop. Stop. Toss your weapon. Holy shit. Toss I your weapon. I did call this about three minutes ago. No. 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 What the fuck are we going to do I know here? Why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Cut scene? Cut? What, we're transitioning? Dad? Dad? <laughs> Dad? What? Abby. Come on. How long ago? 
No shot. Yo! <laughs> what? Wow! Wow! I did not think about this. Aw, oh, man. Holy cow! Okay, alright. Sorry, that's a lot to process. I'm gonna need just a second. <laughs> when Ellie walked out and they were talking about going home, I was like, yeah, we fully reached the crux here. You got 99% of the way there and you didn't get Abby. What do you do here? And we're gonna read the, that section very closely because I want to have as rock solid of a foundation of an understanding of Ellie's motivations, Tommy's motivations, etc. as we go forward. Before we do any of that, can I get a big old RIP or some hearts in the comments for Jesse? Fuck. Man, he was such a good dude, especially the last lines before he goes are so sweet. Like, my friend's problems are mine. Ellie's like, that's too sappy. My friends can't get out of their own damn way, which is a tougher kind of love, which we all know by now is, you know, that's like the brand of love that Ellie loves. Fuck. Okay, so what's important to me is this. Oh, man. Talk about how they get home. They just fully bring Abby into the theater. This is insane because, of course, now I'm so worried about Ellie, Tommy, Dina. I'm so worried about it, and now I have to go play this and, and be in a present that is being a very different person's body four years earlier. Oh, my God. Okay. What was Ellie's line about? I think she said it'll have to be. Is that okay? I think she said she gets to live. Tommy said, yes. Is that okay? Ellie said it'll have to be. As in, I'm not happy with it, but I'll settle for what we've got. The, lar the larger well-being of you being okay. Dina being okay. That's Dina needing help, needing some medical help. That's going to have to be enough. She walks out. Abby has shot Jesse immediately in the face. We get a, one glimpse, which indicates he's got to be assumed to be dead. Uh, he has her gun on Tommy, says, put your hands up. Tommy says, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ellie very quickly says, I'm the one you want. I'm the one. I'm the reason there is no cure. And offers, in a weird way, like a reverse vengeance. Like, the thing that, okay, this is the part, this is what, something was sticking with me about that. And here's what it is. Ellie's first thought, Ellie understands the situation so perfectly, so quickly. And you know why that is? Because she's just seeing a version of herself. She's seeing a vengeance-driven you want some sort of vengeance worse than you want anything else. And Ellie knows that very deeply. Ellie knows that real well. And so, of course, she immediately understands the terms of the Mexican standoff, says this is what you want. Fuck. That's the part that got me is I was like, Ellie was so quick to, like, hand herself over. Why? It's because Ellie understood. Damn. And now we're in Abby's... Holy shit, four years earlier, she was talking about her dad, and then there's notes here. Owen's drawing of Abby. So this is Owen. I've tried to draw you sleeping, but these damn hands can't capture your mesmerizing beauty. Had fun yesterday. Let's do it again. Your uber goober, Owen. Owen, I'm just going to say it. Absolute fuckboy. Thank you, card from Mel. Trying to be very sweet there, but definitely a fuckboy. Mel is the name of the character who is pregnant and just died. Fuck. Abby, I wanted to say thanks again. Your dad has been an amazing mentor as I transition to the more complicated procedures. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you vouching for me. I think we, we should grab some booze and get wasted ASAP. <laughs> Looking like a couple true teenagers there. I'd be so ripped, man. Holy shit. Okay. Where are we going? Where did we come from? There's so many Dad. paths. Oh, 
Oh man, four years earlier. So, four years earlier is very quickly after the events of the first game. Yeah? I think it's gotta be. I think it's gotta be shortly after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel, or uh, yeah, Ellie and Joel get to Jackson. Not this way. And that would mean if they're fireflies, <laughs> then Dad, come the on. group at St. Mary's Hospital is you breaking up and disbanding. This. And uh, Dad, squirrel. And um, where are you? Some are radicalizing, some are disbanding. Where the fuck are we? Gazebo here. The zoo. It might actually be a zoo. Oh, hello. Is there going to be a collectible? Are there going to be collectible? No, okay. Zoo Lights Festival. Glowing lights welcome this you on a beautiful like night. 20 years. On a beautiful nighttime journey through an illuminated forest, a tunnel of stars, and dozens of dazzling light displays as you visit our animal friends during the holiday season. Okay. Did that say where that we're at? It said the date, 2013, 2014. And yes, the reindeer are back. Did not say. Just said zoo. All right. Whoa. Jeez. Ooh. Okay. Grab a bottle. Okay. I don't like it that those things are closed. Is there really nothing more in here? A bunch of bottles. I guess I can, like, chuck one out there. <laughs> That worked. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I was like, they're giving me so many bottles for a reason, right? Why do I solve problems like this? Why do I solve problems backwards like this? I can't get through here. Maybe I can get onto the roof. Like, they're giving me a bunch of resources. Interesting. I must need to use them for something. What would I use these resources for? <sighs> Look at that. 1978. Ancient history. A Virginia, the cardinal on it. Here we go. <laughs> okay. There. <laughs> Oops, and did some stuff fall off that I would need? Some loot? No. All right. Okay. Are we playing hide and seek with dad, or what's going on here? <laughs> Smooth, Abby. Smooth, Abby, smooth. Something park. Forest park. Okay, well, that's a little on the nose. Ooh. Abs? Oh. <laughs> you, uh, you got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. So do you. Where? Right there. Oh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs, she's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her, and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. What's happening here? Check on what kind of animal? Let's just make it quick. Is this going to be See, a giraffe scene? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. Oh, God. Now that you say that, tragedy is definitely going to strike. How'd you know I was here? Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. I swarmed to secrecy. How'd you get him to talk? Uh, I asked. Huh. He likes me. Me and him have been, uh, sneaking around. I don't know if that's frowned upon in this weird group that we're from. What kind of animal? It's definitely a wild animal who's Should probably cut through the playground. Yeah? Hey. 
Look what I found. Oh, wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I, I can't wait to... Come on, see Let's keep where looking. playing as Abby Dad. takes us. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. Wait, what? Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. More so than usual. We work together. This is the converse in a weird way, too. This is the other part of it. This is the conversation. Ah. Uh, this is the conversation Ellie and Joel could have been having if they weren't having to have conversations about how Joel had lied to Ellie. Remember the scene where I was like, he's going to ask her about Kat for sure. He's definitely going to ask her about Kat. No. Instead, they had to talk about the fate of humanity and the, what the Fireflies actually, you know, the lie that Joel told. They didn't get to have this conversation. This is the cost. Joel's decision was not a, was not a, uh, was not one without consequences, even for the relationship with Ellie that he was trying to save. <laughs> Abs. It's fine. I like Owen. Oh, God. <laughs> How long have you known? I'm your dad. I see things. Like the way you both try really, I hope you don't really see too hard much of not it. to look at each other when you're around me. You get all serious. It's very cute. I can't handle this. <laughs> it is cute. To, I, I love the like teasing <laughs> of a parent. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. <laughs> he gets all nervous when he has to keep me in check. So you're taking advantage of him? Me? Never. Was this guy a zookeeper? Was this guy just interested in animals? It's got to be an animal that he's seeing, right? Abs, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh tracks. Wait. This is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? You're like an elk or something? I would never. Is it working? Well, I mean, <laughs> I found you. Yeah, but you cheated. And we just you fell. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You do what you need to do to get it done is the type of lesson her dad passed on to her. And she internalized and used it to... You actually listen. You have Do your what? moments of wisdom. Thanks. Let's see if we can find anything else. Let's do it. Can you give us a place to... Imagine if Abby had, like, tracking vision. Ellie has listen mode. Abby has tracking... Oh, okay, I found something. Uh, Dad, I found something. What the fuck oh is it? God. She already gave birth. Ew. And look, oh. two sets of tracks. Mm, what's it gonna Dad? be? It's her. Let's go. That doesn't sound good. No, she's in pain. We're gonna have to put her out of her misery. Oh man, I can't wait to see where this is going. My mind is a buzz with the possibilities. Abs. Jack, can you get it? Thank you. Dad, Full of wait. possibilities. What if they're infected around? This area is clear. You Here's know they gun. roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. Then I'm not worried. Maybe you should be, though. Oh, oh shit. Abs. <laughs> it's cute how he says abs. Very cute. What? Zebra. <laughs> oh. We've got to cut her loose. It's okay, Cobb. That's worry. fucked. I'm not going to hurt you. It's okay. Oh god, it's really in there. I can't watch that. Ouch. Come here. I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. you around here. Over here, Owen. You have that? What? Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. Owen! Owen looks like such a fuckboy. I have to say it. I'm sorry. Hold her. Come on. Uh, 
You got a tight? I thought it was barbed wire. Luckily, it does not look like it's barbed wire. Aww. Holy fuck. <laughs> Everybody's looking for you. We got it. Holy hey, fuck. Wait. Dad! What's going on? Hey, babe. What's up? Come on. Where's the baby? This is the uh, St. Mary's, by the way. St. Mary's. This is the parallel of the giraffes in the park scene. It's a more chaotic, less peaceful. We did good back there. Doc, that girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene. Fireflies, by the way. Marlene. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. <laughs> that can't be. What did the doc look like? Oh, shit. What did the doc look like that we shot as Joel? They're already running tests on her, but you got to get down there. Dad. Come on. That's the, the that's the There's office, no right? That's the office. The yep. Pain. There's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host. Holy shit, we're getting right into it. Okay, we're going to read this very closely. So this is not after, of course, based on what we just heard. This is not after Ellie and Joel flee. This is when Ellie and Joel get there. I am very nervous about what we're about to learn. That appears to be Marlene. And Doc, a.k.a. Abby's dad. This is the office. They had Ellie's brain scans in here. There also was a note, tomorrow we make history. The host. She's a child, not some Petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. The wild, I'm already off my rocker here. Seeing Marlene being the one saying they had a choice, this one doesn't. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's going to be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific... All of that is justified with this one act. If this was your daughter, what would you do? <laughs> it's beautiful that they have her do it. It's beautiful that they have her set the scene. Like, this would be such a different conversation if they were just like, yeah, we got to do it because it's going to save millions of lives. Abby enters the room right after... He's been forced to, uh, to, to answer, would I do it to my own daughter? Thank you. I'll buy you some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. She's got a firefly necklace on underneath her thing. You can see it. You can see Look, the dog tag. Marlene. Do it. Thank you. I'm going to go tell Joel. Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. Ooh. Oh, I'm a mess. I'm a mess already. I'm such a mess already. Okay. I mean, what else is there to do but to keep Look playing? surgery. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> Abby's sure. Yeah. He is too. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery.
the aftermath. Abby stumbles upon it. I wondered how they would treat this. I wondered how they would treat the actual scene. Okay. So, here's the thing that is kind of always... Uh, as I was saying in the last episode, so as I was saying in the last episode, there was some really incredible conversation underneath uh, our episode like three three days ago, where Ellie comes back to St. Mary's Hospital, um, and lots of, lots of different good ideas, you know, lots of different uh, incredible good points. It's one of those things where it's like uh, it's one of those hard situations where multiple truths coexist. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and what I was about to say is they become nearly impossible to talk about with any, <laughs> they become nearly impossible to talk about because of the way that it is both true that Joel was selfish. I'm, I'm going to vastly over, over, paint, I'm going to paint this picture way too quickly. It is both true that Joel committed an incredible act of selfish, uh, a moral atrocity, etc. It is also true that uh, I believe Joel committed an act straight up fueled by love for Ellie. Um, you can also frame it as an unselfish move. It's just it, it's one of those things that becomes impossible to talk about, and I don't even know why I'm trying right now. Here's the thing that I wanted to say, uh, which is that. The thing that gets me personally, uh, that has struck me since the end of The Last of Us Part 1 and in the scenes so far in The Last of Us Part 2 about the scene, and that is not shown during what we just saw, uh, is that if I'm reading the situation correctly, Ellie and Joel get to St. Mary's. Ellie gets put under in order to do this procedure without at any point in time being consulted about the choice that they were going to ask her to make, which she is no longer allowed to, to make. They also, in my understanding, they don't even tell her we're making the choice for you, etc., because it makes it easier to not tell her and to just put her under. Uh, the thing that really gets me about that and the thing that makes me sad beyond belief is just that... I, too, agree that Ellie, given the choice, Abby, given the choice, I agree that it is in Ellie's character to say, do it. Make a vaccine out of me. I'll be the hero or whatever. I'll do the sacrifice. Um, I think that's fully 100% within, within Ellie's character to do that. What makes me sad beyond an ability that I have any words to talk about uh, is Ellie not being given the choice. Because, of course, it's, it's a trolley problem. There's so many lives on the other end that you don't want to give her the opportunity to say no. But you also don't even give her the opportunity to know what she has done. Uh, and to me, the, the hardest part of that is that <laughs> to get way too deep for 49 minutes into this episode... <laughs> The hardest part of that is that regardless of how you assign meaning to the decision that Joel made, regardless of how you decide me uh, assign meaning to the decision that Ellie would have made, Ellie did not get a chance to assign meaning to any of it. I think that one of the only things that one of the only real truths about our lives and the time we spent here on the, we spend here on this earth is that we are given opportunities ample uh, and repeated come up with or to borrow someone else's or to to lean on somebody else's understanding to come up with whatever version of the narrative that allows us to form meaning that we that we so choose and uh the thing that makes me <laughs> want to cry right now thinking about it even is just that i think ellie was a is a very brave and was a very brave and uh and like incredible human who would have gladly taken a very 
brave stance and, and come up with an incredible meaning for her life by sacrificing and she wasn't given the choice. And I know that it saves millions and I know that it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that, that, that's the thing that gets me. Let's play for a little bit before I start crying. Um, okay. So Abby discovering the aftermath. We don't have an inventory. I was gonna see if we could read anything. Is he still in the fucking building? Is it? Abby. No. Abby, don't look Owen and her dad. Yeah. Dad! No. 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 Get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! 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 I'll fucking kill you! Whoa, what are you doing? No. Lenny. Lenny, no. No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. No. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose ends. We killed them. We're no better than he was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Oh, fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Now then! Shoot me? Stop! We're done. I'll be honest, Owen comes across a little bit better there than otherwise. Abby. <gasps> oh. Easy. Yo. You okay, Apps? Yeah, just. Seattle day one? Wait a second. I know what we're doing here. Which makes sense, because this game is too short for it to be as long as everybody says that it is. What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. <sighs> We've been called up. Isaac wants us at the front. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. We should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. All right, I'm going to pause here. I think this is a good place to end it as an episode. Um, man. What? Oh, man, if ever there was an episode where everything changed, this one would be it. Where do we even begin? Uh, thanks for letting me rant about, uh, about Ellie and, uh, that moment there. Uh, it's very, I'll be very interested to track. If this goes how I think it does, my current guess is Seattle day one. We follow Abby to Seattle day three. We follow Abby to the theater. We're about to have three days of Abby. If it's anything like the game so far, that will include more flashbacks. That'll include twists and turns about what was going on with Owen, Mel, Abby, Nora, these characters that we have just stomped all over their lives as Ellie and, and Tommy and, and Jesse, frankly. And uh, first off, if that is the case, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> that's, so, that's such a cool structural decision to make. Uh, because it reinforces everything we've talked about about Ellie being a monster and uh, and uh, perspectives here and all of that. Oh, um, the other thing to say is that I can't wait for flashbacks as Abby because the more we learn, I the, I cannot wait to learn more about uh, the Fireflies past and the Fireflies disbanding and turning into this. I can't wait to to figure it out. I'm guessing it'll be a pretty ugly history, but I can't wait to find it out. Um. 
Yeah. They said Doc, and then they started talking about the girl, and I was like, holy shit. That's got to be the doctor. And, it, and it, it all clicks into place, why Abby would be so full of vengeance. Um, and, yeah. I mean, what is there to say other than I completely understand that, you know? Abby's doctor of a dad, the kind of man who is checking up on a pregnant zebra, releases them from a... Calls his daughter Abs, sweetheart. It was good to see Marlene, too. It was good to see... Uh... In a weird way, I don't feel better. <laughs> I feel worse. I feel better. I feel worse. Um, I am comforted to know that the sort of faceless firefly machine that got Ellie um, and, and that Ellie and Joel were greeted with, uh, we're getting to see it as a little bit less faceless. Which, of course, is going to come with its slew of complications. I'm going to stop talking and call it an episode here. I've talked enough. I got I got lots to think about, that's for sure. I can't wait to see where this takes us now. Holy shit. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my ramblings because, goddamn, I rambled a lot today. But we also had a lot to ramble about. So, Whew. I'll see you uh, tomorrow for another episode. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.